Now, today we're going to be talking about productivity, which, as it turns out, is starting to become a trending keyword in this age of remote work. There's no doubt we've witnessed somewhat of a paradigm shift these past five or six months, and being as productive as we possibly can has started to take precedence over a number of other factors in this current climate. But luckily, there are quite a few tools and apps out there for macOS that have helped me stay relatively productive and organized, and I'm going to be sharing some of my personal favorites with you in this video. And as a quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon for notifications so you won't miss out on a video in the future. Getting to the first of this list, we have Magnet. And this app essentially helps you focus on the important things on your screen and eliminate any clutter. Now, if you're like me, you're probably used to working across a large number of windows and tabs to the point where your overall workflow could start to look like a concoction of noisy elements. It's just not pleasant to look at. Now, Magnet intelligently solves this issue by allowing you to lock windows to the side of your screen when you move or drag them around, helping you foster a neater arrangement. It especially helps when you want to organize your view so you can focus on the windows that matter the most. And what's neat is that you can get a range of keyboard shortcuts to use when you want to use transfer resources between apps and essentially boost productivity over time. This is just one of the two paid tools on this list, but at only $2.99, I'd say it's well worth its humble price tag. Next on the list, we have Bear, the note-taking king that, in my opinion, dethrones Evernote of that title purely on the basis of its uncomplicated and aesthetically pleasing UI. It provides a unique way of organizing thoughts through hashtags and some intuitive features that make it easy to create lists, write a series of to-dos that are easily accessible across all your devices, provide enhanced security with touch and face ID, and offer a great degree of customizability too. I just wish there were ways to incorporate collaborative features that allow multiple people to work on a note or list simultaneously, so that's one thing I'd love for the developers to possibly add in the future. But all in all, a solid choice for avid note takers. And now we're stepping into admin territory, where Apple's Spotlight and Siri will find unusual competition in the form of Alfred, which is basically an indexing tool and an app launcher that essentially takes over Spotlight's role, but adds an extra dimension with the addition of advanced functions as well as automation. Alfred learns how you go about using your Mac and prioritizes search results accordingly, so it's an essentially less creepy and localized search engine. You can use hotkeys to customize the way you search your Mac and even utilize its clipboard history feature to paste and text files that you copied over earlier, which is a feature I found myself using quite a lot. And to add to that, you can even create your own snippets and abbreviate them accordingly. So the range of customizability here is a true luxury. And now we get to a simple tool that goes about solving a rather simple issue figuring out the best way to prevent your Mac from going to sleep. Joel of Caffeine helps achieve this in a handy fashion, without navigating through system preferences or even using terminal, but by merely using hotkeys. This is great for stretches where I need my Mac to perform background tasks or when I'm downloading or uploading large files. I definitely want to minimize the risk of those processes getting interrupted by my Mac falling asleep, and so Jolt of Caffeine provides a range of options through a modestly designed UI to make this process effortless. Okay, now we're beginning to approach the realm of project management, and this is where Trello really excels. This tool is perfect for rudimentary, agile work where you can create boards to signify a project and then make a series of cards that can cycle through a bunch of lists, which would denote what stage of the workflow you're at. You can add more information to these cards, such as checklists, due dates, descriptions, comments, and even attachments. And you can definitely extend the use of Trello to much larger teams too. But I found it pretty useful for my own use cases that are far less demanding. This isn't a Mac exclusive, but it's definitely a worthy addition to this list. Now, a competent email client is definitely an essential these days, and Spark takes the cake in this department. It has a gorgeous and minimalistic looking UI, offering a great deal of customization. 
and more importantly, it includes compelling features like a smart inbox that categorizes itself quite appropriately into personal, notification, or newsletter buckets. The collaboration features are also a major plus, allowing you to draft emails along with teammates. The brisk natural language search function allows you to filter and search through your emails effortlessly, helping you find relevant results that beat out most other clients I've tested this out with, like Airmail. The app integrations are great, and the gestures like swiping to sign off, snoozing emails, and emotion reactions are all fantastic additions that help differentiate Spark from other tools in the market. Now, I'm a huge fan of well-designed writing tools, and Ulysses molds into this description perfectly. This is a full-blooded writing tool that's designed to help writers create high-quality publication-worthy text. The app helps export and transform your text into rich and gorgeous looking PDFs, ebooks, docs, or even HTML files that can be published online through various mediums like WordPress. It also offers interactive features like a word count limit detector, along with some pretty sweet design and styling features. It also features a markup based text editor with swift keyboard navigation and a typewriter mode. And it even allows you to pursue writing goals while viewing everything in a live preview mode. This is honestly a must have for any current or aspiring writer and its wide array of features pretty much make this a productivity powerhouse. Now, if you're into brainstorming and formulating your own creative mind maps, you'll end up falling in love with MindNode. This will be the perfect tool for you if you find value in visually capturing your thoughts through various mediums. And it helps you organize those thoughts through intuitive features like foldable branches, visual tags, and a handy focus mode. And stylizing your personal mind maps is easier than ever with MindNode, with the app allowing you to utilize their smart layouts and crafty themes, basically giving you the option of being as meticulous as you want with your mind map designs. You can easily share your mind maps by exporting them into a myriad of formats or by merely sending them to your Reminders app and other productivity apps like Things to synchronize your overall workflow. Another solid choice. The next app is a fan favorite and has been touted as one of the best Mac productivity apps by a lot of editors, and for a good reason. Things is the perfect agenda builder, with the tool allowing you to go one step further than just build a list of to-dos. Things allows you to build a system of tags, timeframes, and deadlines to create a solid schedule and has a ton of incredible features to help you stay organized. You can break down your schedules to fit specific projects, areas such as work or personal matters, and even build on existing integrations like your calendar, repeaters, and reminders. The quick entry feature allows you to create to-dos in any given situation, and the quick find feature helps you locate those very to-dos as easily as making them for an incredibly seamless experience. And to add to that, the clutter-free design makes it all the more engaging to use. You can easily create headings and checklists to refine your to-dos, and even take advantage of the tool's slim mode to cut out any distractions and focus on the task in hand. This app comes in at $49.99, making it a bit of a premium tool, but it's a must have for anyone looking to get into the habit of being organized. Not to forget, there's a 15 day free trial too for people who don't wanna to commit to making a purchase just yet. So there you have it guys. Those are some of my favorite Mac apps that I got to play around with this year. And I can definitely say with full confidence that I gained a lot of value from it from a productivity standpoint. Now, I'd love to know your thoughts on some of your favorite Mac apps or whether or not you change anything in this list. So go ahead and leave your comments down below as usual. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.